So especially when I went to the Paralympic Games for the first time um, in 2016, and then Tokyo 2021, everybody's really looking at you and everybody wants to find out how you're doing, especially online. And I think I know the peak time to share faith now. I'm like, okay, I've come out of a big chance. Everybody's very much interested. So I'll just put, you know, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And then obviously that starts a bit of a conversation. Carrie, tell us about your own personal faith journey. Like, how did you find Jesus? Yeah, so I was brought up in church, um, in a Christian family. So I always had those, you know, values and, you know, that instilled in me in terms of like the biblical, you know, values. Um, but by all means, I went through my ups and downs. So I gave my life to Jesus when I was 10. But, you know, as I, especially as I went into secondary school, yeah, like as I went into secondary school, it was it's really tough, you know, by all means, you begin to question things, especially when I um, studied A-level philosophy and religion. And, you know, there's a lot of questions, a lot of challenges to faith through that. And also growing up with a disability as well. You know, I had to kind of navigate having to question, you know, disability and alongside faith. Um, and then eventually really got back on track and reignited my faith um, when I went to university. Oh, that's amazing. And what would you say, like, reignited your faith like were there certain people around or certain things that you did like how did you get to that place I think my parents were really encouraging and I think that really helped you know having that sense of going to church still and and being encouraged in faith but also being at university community was so important and I had a great community of Christians at university and I think it was just great to see young people on fire for Jesus and I hadn't necessarily seen that a lot so to be in that environment I think it really just helped me as well yeah yeah we definitely believe in like the power of community which is why we're so appreciative of the yes years community so yeah that's cool that you've um, emphasized that and so so we at yes years we're we're all about sharing faith and we want to encourage people and help people to to share their faith what does what do you think what does faith sharing mean to you why is it why is it important what yeah what does it mean to you it means a lot and it is really important because I think at the end of the day, what you love, you want to share. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in that sense, it should be quite natural. So, you know, I share my faith because it's a huge part of who I am. Yeah. And just as it's quite normal, you know, online for us to share the things that we're interested in, yeah, it just yeah. means that faith sharing is kind of the same thing. It's like if, I, if it's something that I love, I love God, you know, I want to be able to share um, who he is to other people. We hear you've got your own podcast um, and that's all about faith sharing as well and do you want to tell us a little little bit more about that yeah so I started a podcast um, in December called sporting for his glory and through that podcast it was really just a place where I could have conversations around faith and sport because I was a bit annoyed that I didn't really get many opportunities to do it so I thought okay let me just create somewhere where I can do that but also speak to other athletes and speak to sports chaplains and just speak to Christians within you know the sports industry and honestly it's been so great I've been so encouraged personally in my faith but also it's great that it's recorded so you know other people can be encouraged and it's also about encouraging you know christian athletes to share their faith oh that's amazing what's it called it's called sporting for his glory and what does that name mean to you it sounds quite deep what does the name mean to you yeah i mean that that was the tough bit actually you know deciding on a name oh my gosh i thought of so many different names but sporting for his glory really meant a lot because it was that sense that you know i'm doing it for god's glory that it's not about me because sport can be so self-facing it's all about you know self-glory who's got the medals who's the winner and that kind of thing so sporting for his glory really encapsulated that sense that you know it's actually for god's glory and it's like god has got me here so you know it's for him i feel privileged to be sat so close to someone right at the top of their game it's amazing um what's it what's it like in that environment with so much pressure um is it how easy or not or difficult is it to share your faith how yeah how possible is that yeah, I mean, it's tough. I think initially when I started sports, so I started wheelchair racing when I was 11 years old, you know, just going up in terms of like the ranks and through um, international competitions. I didn't particularly share my faith a lot, but I was really aware of the platform I had. So especially when I went to the Paralympic Games for the first time um, in 2016 and then Tokyo 2021, you know, there's, there's opportunities when everybody's really looking at you and everybody wants to find out how you're doing, especially online. And I think I know the peak time to share faith now. I'm like, okay, 
okay, I've come out of a big chance. Everybody's very much interested. So I'll just put, you know, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And then obviously that starts a bit of a conversation. And even as I go, you know, across the world, um, I get to speak to, you know, my teammates about my faith. And it's great to have conversations. So another example from Tokyo uh, 2021, we were on our way to the Paralympic Village. And I had a certain um, friend, a certain teammate who sat next to me on an hour bus journey. So I was like, okay, let's have a conversation. How, we, how can we get this in? So I said, oh yeah, I'm listening to a podcast. And he was like, what's that podcast about? And I said, oh, it's about, you know, it's about Christianity. Okay. And then that obviously started a conversation. So, you know, it's just really about taking those opportunities mm -hmm. to, you know, start a conversation. Yeah, so um, with your friend on the bus, how did they respond to you obviously listening to a Christian podcast? He was actually really curious. And funnily enough, since that moment, we've had so many conversations around faith. So he's an atheist, but he's he's very much open to having conversations around faith. So, you know, I sh shared the gospel with him. We've gone into details about things. Um, and it has been a challenge as well, to be honest, because he's, you know, very much a bit stubborn when it comes to it as well. And that's understandable. But I try and remind myself that, you know, my job is not to necessarily, like, convert him yeah, yeah. but in fact God is the one who's doing the work and I try and encourage myself that you know I'm just sowing seeds as such that's good yeah I'd say quite a few people in our community get scared to actually take those opportunities because they're scared of rejection or they think they don't know enough but how would you encourage people that feel like that when it comes to sharing their faith I'd encourage them not to be afraid because I know by all means there's, there's times when we can be afraid that we'll say the wrong thing or we don't know enough. And that, that is tough, but I think it's really important just to, just to talk and talk about the things that you know. I think a great place to start is with you know, your own testimony and with your understanding of who Jesus is. And, and I think things really just flow from there. And also our character also speaks volumes. And even for us to reflect the character of Jesus, like for me personally, humility is a big thing. And I'm always conscious of, especially in my work, world you know I need to keep humble and I need to reflect you know the humility of Jesus so I think even through that that's a great way that we can share our faith. How do you stay rooted in your faith um, when you when you're so busy <laughs> and so focused on on the job that you're doing? It's really challenging, especially when I have to go away for World Champs or Paralympic Games, um, especially when I'm sharing a room with someone. That can sometimes be a challenge, you know, to have that quiet time with God. Yeah. Sometimes I'm fortunate when I'm not sharing a room, it's a lot easier to just blast my worship music or whatever I want to do. But really, it's just about um, deciding that I'm going to spend a certain amount of time, you know, with God and making sure that that is my priority. Because I'm a whole person, you know, my spiritual side you know my spiritual identity is so important and it does influence my physical performance as well yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's why it's important that everything is prioritized when I go away and it's just recognizing that it's central to what I do. So you spend a lot of your time with other athletes and I'd be really interested to know do you find it easier to share your faith with athletes or is it easier just to share your faith with others around like strangers, family, friends? I think it's easier um, for me personally to share my faith with athletes, but I think because of the world that I'm in and the fact that I'm around athletes quite a lot, mm -hmm. I know how to link you know, sport and faith together in conversations, or I'm aware of the challenges that athletes face and mm -hmm. kind of the, the comfort that the gospel can bring to athletes. Mm -hmm. you know, and I've been able to kind of yeah, like put those two worlds together, really, and that's something that I'm passionate about. And it is, it is hard sometimes. I think for me personally, sharing faith with my family can be challenging, you know, even though I am part of a Christian family, Obviously, I've got cousins, for example, that aren't necessarily Christians, even though they've been brought up um, in the faith. And that can be a challenge, you know, personally, I think, just being able to navigate those conversations. So how do you navigate those conversations with family that um, don't know Jesus? It's hard. One thing I try and do is invite them to church, because mm -hmm. I think that's a really powerful thing. You know, I, I love love my church and I think it's a great place for people to really find out the gospel so with family and friends that's something I'm starting to do a lot more is just invite them just to be in that environment and also just to realize that Christians are really normal people yeah. <laughs> and especially when we're, when we're sharing faith it's so relational and I'm realizing that there's so much power in just those relationships that someone can build, you know, with other Christians. Traveling the world and everything, you meet people from all over the place. Is it, are there ever language barriers or is it tricky sharing your faith with, with people from other countries or different backgrounds? How does, how does that affect things? 
Yeah, there's always a challenge of a language barrier. Um, you know, that's really tough at times. But actually, when I went to the World Champs recently, I connected with another athlete and, and she was actually a Christian as well. So she speaks French. I speak English. It's quite difficult to have conversations, but she was aware of my faith through, you know, online uh, platforms. And she actually ended up giving me a Bible um, because there's chaplains at the events and she actually got um, a Bible from the chaplains, like a sporty Bible type thing. So even it's just great to know that there's chaplains also at these events who are able to, you know, support athletes from different countries and to support athletes with their different needs. Yeah, that's good. And you mentioned sharing your faith online. What does that look like to you? Because everyone does it differently. But how do you personally do that? I try and link it to what I'm doing. Um, so in terms of sport, if there's a competition, if there's training, I try and use that as an opportunity to share my faith, but also just to share the things that I enjoy, you know, looking at online. If there's Christian content, you know, I love to share those things as well. Because I think there's a lot of power in that, you know, because when we're looking at people's stories, for example, we definitely don't get to decide what we see, do we, you know? So, and that can be a challenge. And sometimes I recognize the fact that it's very easy for us even to consume things that we don't want to consume. but but it's true that we can actually use that to our benefit. That actually, we can share things with people that they might not necessarily be asking to see, but it could be something that could, you know, encourage them in faith. Do you ever face many challenges when sharing your faith online? Is there any negative backlash or anything like that? I haven't experienced a lot of negative backlash, but I think it's almost like an internal battle where when I share things online, just that fear again of saying the wrong thing, sharing the wrong thing. And even for me, it can even be, like as a Christian and having other Christians that follow me as well, like yeah, yeah. Um, is what I'm saying even accurate? Is it right? Yeah, yeah. You know, and obviously for non-Christians as well, thinking, you know, is this content right? Am I saying the right thing? Mm -hmm. So that can be a challenge just mentally to push through that internal battle to actually share the things that matter and, and to share uh, my faith. Have you got any tips for, for our community for how to, how to deal with those questions that they might have in, in their own head? Yeah, definitely. There's so many great resources online. And I'm sure through, you know, Yes He Is as well. There's great resources in terms of learning how to share the faith, learning how to share, you know, um, the gospel. So that's so important to actually just find the resources that are going to help you to share the gospel accurately. And also on a personal um, note as well, I've been supported by you know, Christian ministries that are linked to sport and they've actually given me the tools to share my faith. So it's great that there are ministries that support athletes and help us to be able to share our faith properly.